Hi Capricorn, or I here. I'm uh, gonna do a reading for you guys, but first, my giveaway. I am gonna do my first giveaway once I reach 11,000 subscribers. This is the journal. Um, by the time I have this come out, I should also, um, it should be around the time I am publishing a manifestation video or have already published a manifestation video so this is the inside I wanted to share it with you guys the pages are rather thick which is very nice because I know when it comes to finding journals a lot of times the pages are really thin and and they bleed through very easily it's got the bookmarks which I think is very lovely it's got a pocket in the back so my first drawing is going to, or my first giveaway, I should say, is going to be for three. I am willing to, if one of them is overseas, willing to ship overseas uh, for one winner. And then it has this really nice pen. I have tested this out already. This is my personal one. Um, the pen writes really nicely, but I have some... Uh, pens that I ordered specifically for the giveaway, so I'll be including those so you'll have a secondary pen. But um, I just thought this would be nice. I know I talk about manifesting and writing things down a lot, and I have had a subscriber or two in the past ask me about manifestation and if I would make a video. Um, I may make a video on manifesting and then later down the line I may make a video on some spell jars, some really simple spell jars that you can do. But I'm really excited. I'm, I'm proud of myself for being where I am. I do feel like I should have more subscribers right now, but that's because of my lack of consistency, which I think I'm doing much better on now, uh, or more, much better with, I shall say. But this is what it is, and I look forward to sending this to three lucky winners when the time comes. So be sure you're subscribed, and when I do the announcement, I will have either a live video or I'll make a, a pre-recorded video um, expressing who the actual winners are. I still need to figure out how we're going to do this and how... Um, those individuals are going to contact me or how to reach them. So I'll, I'll figure it out, but just wanted to put that out there. So let's, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. I still don't know what I'm doing in regards to my setup, as you can tell, because this looks very different. Actually, this is how... I was starting off um, with my Instagram channel. I was posting photos on this actual carpet here. So we're going to do this for now. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. I just needed something different today. It's hard for me to stick to the same thing all the time. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. You came out, so we'll take you. This is in regards to you guys working on yourselves with the Eight of Pentacles. Mastering your skill. And what did I mention earlier about spell jars? Some of you may be realizing that there are phases in your life. You might be in a particular phase or cycle, I would say. Like for some of us, there are certain times of the year where we tend to feel a certain way or certain times of the year where we make certain changes. That might be this time of year for you. Have the Queen of Pentacles feel like you're focused on your money. Focused on your responsibilities and the things that need to be taken care of. This is you also doing the hard work and investing uh, excuse me, doing the hard work, mastering a skill. For some of you, it could be mastering yourself. For others of you, it could be mastering a skill so that you, you could get that job that you actually want. I have the, um, the hanged man. This is you guys letting something go, releasing something, or seeing something from a different perspective. Also, with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be about you guys 
uh, being more practical. Things have to make business sense. This is we're coming into the holiday season for those of you that celebrated and buy gifts. You might be more mindful of how much you're actually spending. But I see you guys may be taking a moment to pause. See things from a different perspective. Realize that you guys sacrifice yourselves too much and no longer willing to do that. I have the King of Swords. With the King of Swords, I feel like you guys are that much the wiser because of all the things that you've been through. Um, but this could be somebody coming into your energy. This could be somebody coming into your energy. Okay. Oh, wow. It could also be you guys being in that energy where you are uh, standing in your power, standing in your truth, speaking, not holding your tongue. Your words can cut. But being real intellectual, I, I'm feeling being really observant also. I really feel like you guys are really comfortable with yourselves right now. Uh, Three of Cups. This is you guys celebrating. I don't know why I'm feeling like some of you are joining clubs um, of like-minded like people. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. Kind of like meetup groups and things like that. Organizations. Some of you might be making new friends. <clears throat> I don't know why I just thought that somebody did something. Let me put these down for now. We have these that came out. I don't know why I'm thinking of somebody that did some. Oh, excuse me. Somebody that did something. Um, what is it called? Where you check your DNA in your ancestry, like ancestry.com. I'm feeling like somebody's doing something about ancestry.com and discovering um, other ethnicities within themselves. Don't ask me why that came up. I have no idea. I have the page of swords. Somebody could be watching you, keeping their eyes on you, curious as to what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, person's definitely a page. Doesn't have a leg to stand on. I feel like it's somebody not good with money. Of course, with the Queen of Pentacles, you are. I have the King of Pentacles here. And actually, what this is, so this is something else. I have somebody watching you, could be a past person, um, but there could be somebody thinking of how to reach out to you. Uh, the person could to you appear to be a page of pentacles, but they're actually a king of pentacles. And it could be because this person in the past has been used. And so they're not going to put everything out there up front because they need to see how you are and what type of person you are. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like um, you may be you may end up in your head about this person just because of things you've been through in the past, but that's not something you need to worry about and that this will be justice. This will be a positive outcome. Um, oh yeah. So I have the Three of Pentacles. This is somebody willing to work with you, wanting to work with you, collaboration. Ooh, and I have the Four of Wands. This is a marriage card. This is a marriage card, guys. And then... Or do I want to pull from the top? I have the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning, a new emotional beginning, a new romantic beginning. And then why is this card? I feel like I need to pull this card. Ew. And you know what? Like the, pa <laughs> like the Page of Wands, 
you're going to want to be impulsive with this person. I'm just going to say be mindful. Be mindful. Page of Wands is kind of like my... It's kind of like the Fool card for me. It's the card where you are taking a leap of faith. That youthfulness in you was brought out. So I feel like this person is going to bring out the youthfulness in you. And so let me go back to the King of Pentacles because I didn't even mention the meaning of the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is a person that is grounded is a person that is loyal. This person is really full of passion. This is the type of person that's going to provide financial security, uh, emotional security. If you express to them that that's what you need, like just letting you know that you guys are good. I feel like people need that in relationships and Sometimes people think they can act any kind of way and nobody's supposed to feel some kind of way about how they're acting. But like if you're with somebody who acts like they're in a relationship, not you guys, but when a person's with someone and the other person's acting like in, they're in a relationship, but that that individual is acting like they're single. That's a room to make that's room to make somebody feel insecure in a relationship. It has nothing to do with a person's self-confidence and self-esteem. If you're acting single and not treating the other person like they're your equal and like you're committed, then that's the type of thing that would make a person uncomfortable. But this is somebody full of passion. It makes me think somebody full of passion with life, happy with themselves. Of course, both of you are going to be in an Ace of Cups energy where you are both responsible for your own happiness and self-love and then you come together and here's something amazing that comes out of it an offer of love so I'm going to leave that there Capricorn that's what I have for you I thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell and that like button love you bye